now we're going to be talking with Randy Henkin about seasteading. Who here has heard of seasteading? So just a few of you. So it's a fascinating uh, area of, of tech exploration that I've been following for years now, and uh, I'm really delighted to have Randy here. He is the co-founder at Blue Frontiers, which is a startup developing seasteads, which are semi-autonomous floating communities uh, that will be stationed in a special economic zone in the protected waters of a host nation. So he will give you more information about that, but it's a very interesting topic and could be the future of free society. So can you please give Randy Henkin a very warm welcome to the stage? Good evening, uh, Detainee Tokyo. I appreciate you sticking with me. I know it's been a long day and we're quite late, so I'll try to keep it quick. My name is Randy. I build seasteads in sea zones by Varian. Just, didn't even get a laugh. All right, so thank you. At least, at least somebody laughed. Um, in the next few years, a lagoon like this will look be home to the world's first seastead will be a place where a community can thrive semi-autonomously, giving people the opportunity to have more say in their lives and giving us a chance to bring technologies to bear that will be resistant to rising seas. And we call these seasteads, and we're doing it for two reasons. One, we want to build semi-permanent locations at sea that you would live in for the rest of your lives, and you can float them from one location to the next and choose your neighbor. And the other is we want to build technologies to help with uh, impending rising seas. So there's about 10,000 communities in the world that are going to be affected by rising seas in the coming years. It's going to be 10 to $100 trillion worth of damage that can be done. And if we can manufacture those seas that I was showing you at a price point that is uh, reasonable, then people can stay home as opposed to becoming climate refugees. So I have a little video I'd like to show now. This isn't planet Earth, it's planet ocean. 7.6 billion people live under the authority of only about 193 land-based governments and only 180 national currencies. To solve humanity's grand challenges, we need innovative governance as fluid as our world. Blue Frontiers, the first seasteading company, is proud to announce Varion, a token of exchange to increase variation in governance. Blue Frontiers is a team of more than 100 professionals working to build sustainable seasteads that adapt to sea level rise and offer unique governing frameworks. The seastead is the physical platform, the sea zone is the legal platform, and Varion is the way to buy goods and services in the Blue Frontiers ecosystem. If you want to buy or rent space on a seastead, you will do so with Varion. If you want to register your business or become a virtual resident in a Blue Frontiers sea zone, you will do so with Varion. If you hold Varion, you have a stake in the future. We choose Varion because in the floating world of the future, we value variation in governance, freedom of mobility, transparency, inclusiveness, and choice. Finance can be fair, and governance can be trustworthy. Stop arguing, start discovering with Blue Frontiers. Together we will demonstrate how decentralized voluntary societies work, free at sea. You're the the very first audience to see that video, so I'll take your, your feedback after this. The reason we want to build floating islands and give people more autonomy is that we know that rule of law is the most important thing to somebody's well-being and prosperity. So you can look at countries that might have lots of natural resources, but they still have a lot of poverty. And you can look at other countries that have very few natural resources, but have good rule of law, and they have a lot of prosperity. And we believe by giving more choice to more people in the world through seasteading, we can create more prosperity. So seasteading is decentralizing governance in the world of atoms, where most of these talks today have been about decentralizing the world in bits on blockchains. We want to do it physically in the real world and create an evolution 
where people can have variation and selection by moving their home from one place to the next. And when we apply this to governance, we can only imagine that the future will become better for billions of people. So a C zone is our term for a special economic zone. And in the long run, we'd like to do seasteading out in jurisdictions that don't yet exist in international waters. But in the near term, we want to do this in protected waters underneath the uh, permission of a host nation with a concession from them. And by doing it under the brand of a special economic zone or a special administrative region, we can be included in uh, existing law and still have enough concessions to make it interesting for ourselves. So the first seastead will take place in protected waters inside of a lagoon or a bay or a harbor. And we've identified 51 countries that we think are suitable for us to put seasteads in. And we're in varying degrees of contact with them. And we have a team that's working on uh, getting more contact for us. What we require is that we have a location that's safe to put the seasteads, where they have access to the internet, access to airports and seaports, uh, and some kind of underutilized body of water where we can locate ourselves and be out of people's way. And in exchange for a country giving us a sea zone, they will get environmental, social, and economic benefits for giving us a little bit of autonomy. So the first place that we would probably do this is going to be in French Polynesia. That's French Polynesia on the map. It's smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It's 118 islands, 70 of which are inhabited, the biggest being Tahiti. Only 280,000 people live there. Uh, from where I live in California and San Francisco, we can take a direct flight and be there in eight hours. Uh, from Tokyo, it's about 12 hours, so in between us to get there. And this is me last year signing an agreement with the government of French Polynesia that set forth this new company, Blue Frontiers. So I've been working with seasteading since 2011. The Seasteading Institute itself was started in 2018. It was founded by Patry Friedman and kickstarted by Peter Thiel. And it was when we signed this agreement that we started the new company, Blue Frontiers. So we have... 10 years of experience behind us and about $2 million, $2 million that we invested through uh, the CSUN Institute. And since last year, we raised a $1 million. We spent that at Blue Frontiers on uh, design and engineering, environmental, economic, and legal research, as well as business development and building a community that wants to come and live on these seasteads. Uh, there are thousands of people who are interested in coming and participating in our market. So. Every day I get a message from somebody who says, I want to come and be one of the first pioneers. Uh, we've had thousands of media stories this last year. Uh, there's nobody else in our market. There's nobody competing with what we're trying to do. So we believe that Blue Frontiers is in a unique position to bring this uh, new technology to the world. Uh, we can build our first pilot project for about 300 people. We think we can cost less than $60 million, so it's about $200,000 per person. That's competitive with a major metropolis like Tokyo. And people wonder, well, how can you build a brand new floating platform for so little? It's because you're not paying for land value. So that makes it less expensive on us. Um, it's important to us that these things are modular. So we start with one, two, three platforms, and we can grow from there. Uh, and add and grow the city. So eventually it'll be thousands of people and eventually these cities can split off and go elsewhere and, and rearrange. So the company was founded by the executive members of the CSUN Institute, as well as many of the ambassadors. And now we have more than 100 professionals working on the project, 15 on staff. And I think that the people we've collected are brilliant and are the best people we can have to bring forth an idea that seems so ambitious, that might seem crazy, but is yet pragmatic and can really happen in, our, uh, in the next few years. So in order to have access to one of these seasteads or sea zones that Blue Frontiers creates and sells you, you would have to uh, buy Varian, the token of the seasteading. Um, Varian is short for Variation in Governance. Uh, for the few of you from the U.S., we can't sell it to you. Um, sorry. So it's going to be an ERC-20 token on the Ethereum blockchain. It would give you access to all the goods and services if you want to buy a Seastead, rent a Seastead, uh, spend, register your business in our C-Zone. You would do so with Varian, and it would also give token holders a referenda in the choices that we make to advance the, uh, the project. 
We're not trying to raise an exceptional amount of money. We think that once we sell some, uh, enough to create our first prototype, then we can start actually selling the islands and we'll have a circulating economy. So if you get in early on the Varian and there's a limited supply, the value of Varian should increase because we're gonna increase the size of the community over time. Um, and of course you could exchange the Varian amongst yourself and with other, other coins out there in the market. Um, let's not worry about the distribution. You'll find that on our website at varian.io and how we're gonna use our proceeds um, this is a payment coin, it's a cryptocurrency. We're not trying to sell you uh, a security. Uh, you're not getting equity in the company, you're getting the opportunity to participate in our community through it, and the proceeds we raise will be used for our next phase of engineering and design. Um, this is the team. Oh, oh wait, there's our, our roadmap. It was back in September under uh, the CSUN Institute, we first went to French Polynesia in 2017. I signed that MOU I was talking about, the agreement. In May of 2017, we had a giant conference in Tahiti. By t the October, we had finished our studies that we were obligated to do for the government of French Polynesia. And ever since then, we've been working on engagement and, uh, and getting ready for our, our ICO. So this is my team. We've got five founders. Uh, Joe Quirk wrote the book on seasteading. Mark Collins was the former uh, minister of tourism in French Polynesia, and the reason we went down to French Polynesia. Uh, Nick is an entrepreneur and strategist, and Igor is from uh, Moscow and has uh, 13 companies doing things like uh, robotics manufacturing. So we have the experience to manufacture these floating islands. Uh, we've got lots of advisors. Uh, several of them are in uh, the blockchain space. You might recognize a few of these guys from uh, Santiment, um, Syndicator, Ethereum. Uh, we have people up here that are into uh, understand Tahitian culture, uh, very large floating structures, uh, marine sciences, uh, others from um, Zencash and Nori and Coin Firm doing. Uh, so we, we have the whole gamut because it's a big project. We're not just selling you a cryptocurrency, we're building floating cities. Uh, we've got partners, many of them. Um, there's more partners. A bunch of media, we only pick the highlights here. I'd like to remind you that basically we're trying to deal with two problems that the world needs help with. And one is there's a lack of innovation and in governance. And we think we can improve that by giving people more choice when they live on floating homes with new governments in these sea zones. And two, that we can help out over time the millions of people who are gonna be hurt by rising seas by creating real estate for them that's available. And I want to prove that I have a team. Um, I'm gonna show this last video. Uh, this is what we've been doing this last year of the people who are working on the project. Uh, you'll see us uh, taking a tour of locations in French Polynesia. Um, can, we, can we roll that video for me, please? Uh, um, so this is us scouting locations. It's a beautiful place. I hope we get to go there. That's Joe Quirk, my partner on Seasteading, wrote the book. Um, momentarily, you will see me signing that agreement with the government of French Polynesia I mentioned. Um, we did the, the signing in San Francisco. This is my partner, Mark Collins, and this is him speaking to the United Nations about the project. Uh, then we had this big conference. We've held workshops um, in French Polynesia and went all around the world. There are hundreds of people really wanting to make this happen. Uh, it's not just one crazy guy on a stage at D10E uh, trying to sell you something. And um, I hope that if you like what I'm trying to offer you, you'll check out Varian. You'll talk to me, come have a drink with me. And uh, thank you for staying late to hear my presentation. Thanks, Naomi. Thank you.